Hey guys, today we'll cover what is expected assists in football. Now, if you are interested in football, chances are you already come across this uh, kind of metric. So we can go through an example. Here is uh, results of the match between Lazio and Atalanta from Italian Championship. And there is uh, expected goals below and below these expected goals, expected assists. After this video, you will get a pretty good understanding of what this metric means. So, what is expected assists in football? Expected assists are based on the same logic expected goals do. Meaning, expected assist is the probability metric of a pass resulting in a goal. This metric can take values between 0 and 1, where zero means there is zero chance for pass resulting in a goal after the shot and one means there is 100 percent chance for this event to happen now let's make an example to understand how the, how this works so for example if expected assist value equals 0 0.2 it means there is 20% chance this kind of pass will result in a goal. So statistically speaking, we may expect to get two goals out of 10 such assists. Now, let's get some history outlook uh, around this expected assists metric. It's not a secret that goals is the most important element in the football, the crucial one. But there is a serious problem with them. The number of goals is too small to deep dive and analyze them thoroughly and make reliable conclusions. On average, there are like 2.53 goals per match. Not such a huge room for research. So that's why football analysts started to look for other key elements of the play and essentially they came around shots, which happen like 10 times more frequently than goals. That's how expected goals metric was born. But how many goals are scored without assists? Dribbles and set pieces are not that common, so the majority is scored after assists. That's why additionally to expected goals, football analysts started to work with expected assists and therefore invented expected assist metric. Now, why does expected assist metric is important? The thing is, expected assists are much more informative than just assists by itself. No matter how brilliant a pass is, whether it will become an assist or not depends on a number of variables, but mainly on a player who receives the ball. That's why it's important to measure quality of passes or assists. On the other hand, expected assists has its own limitations, like uh, one of the main of them, which is already sold, by the way, is the fact that expected assists a metric takes into account only the last pass, the last assist, all other combinations and actions before this last uh, pass are ignored. Now, what factors impact expected assists? Different data providers may use slightly different ways of calculating expected assists, but foundational parameters are the following. Pass type, game situation, pass destination location, pass region location, and pass distance. How expected assists are used in football? Well, to put it briefly, they are used for team analysis, player analysis, scouting, modeling, and forecasts. Now, it's very important to note that even though expected assists, just like expected goals, by the way, is very important concept measuring teams and uh, players' performance. It's not a silver bullet. Now, what does it have all to do with Grealish, with Jack Grealish? Well, being Aston Villa player, Jack Grealish confessed that he uses expected assist metric to compare himself with other players on the same position. In particular, he was aiming at Kevin De Bruyne from Manchester City. And here's the irony. Now they are playing for the same club. 
that's all for this topic. Hope you like it. Click like and subscribe to stay tuned for the next videos.